The year was 2006. A new anime graced television screens, captivating viewers with its unique blend of gothic horror and action-packed adventure. This was D. Greyman, adapted from Katsura Hoshino's manga of the same name. The story followed Alan Walker, a young exorcist with a cursed eye and a powerful anti-Akuma weapon called Innocence. Fans were immediately drawn to the series' distinctive art style, compelling characters and intriguing storyline. The anime's popularity soared, propelled by its dark and atmospheric setting, intricate plotlines and memorable cast of characters. Alan's journey, alongside fellow exorcists Lena Lee Lee, Kanda Yu, and the enigmatic General Cross Marion, resonated with viewers. They faced off against the Millennium Earl and his army of Akuma, mechanical weapons fueled by human souls. The battles were intense, the stakes were high, and the emotional core of the story resonated deeply with fans. D. Greyman quickly became a fan favorite, praised for its unique take on the shonen genre. It blended elements of action, supernatural, and even religious themes, creating a world that was both familiar and wholly original. The anime's success was undeniable, with merchandise flying off shelves and a devoted fanbase eagerly awaiting each new episode. The future seemed bright for Alan and his comrades. However, behind the scenes, a storm was brewing. Production issues began to plague the series, casting a shadow over its success. Little did fans know that these challenges would ultimately lead to the anime's abrupt and heartbreaking end. The animation industry is a demanding one, often requiring studios to work on tight schedules and with limited resources. Unfortunately, D. Greyman's production was hit particularly hard by these challenges. The series suffered from frequent delays, inconsistent animation quality, and an ever-growing gap between the anime and its source material, the manga. One of the main contributing factors to these issues was the studio's decision to stay faithful to the manga's storyline. While admirable this decision meant that the anime would inevitably catch up to the manga's release schedule, to avoid overtaking the source material, the production team had to resort to filler episodes. These episodes, while entertaining, deviated from the main plot and disrupted the pacing of the overall narrative. Adding to the studio's woes were reported budget constraints and scheduling conflicts. The demanding workload placed on the animators and production staff led to inconsistencies in animation quality. Some episodes boasted stunning visuals and fluid action sequences, while others suffered from noticeable drops in quality. This inconsistency, while understandable given the circumstances, detracted from the overall viewing experience. The production team struggled to maintain a consistent schedule, leading to further delays and frustration among fans. The once-weekly release became increasingly sporadic with hiatuses becoming more frequent and longer. The anime's momentum, once unstoppable, began to falter. As if the production issues weren't enough, another factor weighed heavily on D. Greyman's fate, the health of its creator, Katsura Hoshino. Hoshino, known for her dedication to her craft and intricate art style, unfortunately suffers from chronic health problems. These health issues forced her to take frequent breaks from drawing the manga, further exacerbating the gap between the anime and its source material. Hoshino's hiatuses, while necessary for her well-being, had a significant impact on the anime's production. With the manga's release schedule becoming increasingly irregular, the anime team found themselves in a difficult position. They could either continue producing filler episodes, risking further deviation from the main storyline, or halt production altogether and wait for Hoshino to recover and resume drawing. The studio ultimately opted for a combination of both approaches, leading to a disjointed viewing experience for fans. The anime would air a batch of episodes then go on hiatus, only to return with more filler content before adapting another arc from the manga. This stop-and-go approach, while understandable given the circumstances, ultimately hurt the anime's pacing and overall coherence. Hoshino's health struggles highlighted the delicate balance between adapting a manga faithfully and the realities of anime production. It served as a stark reminder that even the most dedicated creators are not immune to the challenges of life and that sometimes, even the most beloved stories face unforeseen obstacles. After a long wait, D. Greyman fans were given hope in 2016 with the announcement of D. Greyman Hallow. However, the return was met with mixed reactions. The new animation style and rushed pacing left many fans disappointed. That's all the news for now, and thanks so much for watching.